this little creature from the Burgess Shale Seas. It's thought to be the ancestor of the very first creature that went onto land. It's called Aisha. And we don't have to imagine what it was like in life because there's a creature that seems to be almost identical that is alive today. It lives in many parts of the tropics, including the rainforest here in Queensland, Australia. It's nocturnal and seldom seen. It spends most of its time hidden away inside rotten logs. Well, it's nice and wet. Certainly uh, perfect for what we're looking for. You need local expertise to find one. Not a sign, but, uh, I generally find that it's just from the outside of the core of the tree. Oh, nice and wet. Oh, oh, look at this. And this enchanting little creature is what we were looking for. Sometimes called a velvet worm, or to give it its scientific name, Peripetus. If there is such a thing as a living fossil, this surely must be one of them because it seems to be almost identical with that fossil, Aisha, which we saw in the Burgess Shales. It looks at first sight like a worm, but of course, no worm has legs. In fact, it seems to be halfway between a worm and an insect. Aisha, of course, lived in the sea. But this little creature lives on land. And it has one further attribute, which Aisha could not have had. It has tiny little holes all along its flanks, which enable it to be there. So this is one of the first creatures that moved onto land. 540 million years ago.